Hi everyone and welcome back to a new thing inside the box video. So many of you asked me to do more acapella videos in the future after my last thing inside the box videos, which is such a big compliment, so thank you so, so much. I wanna keep it really short and simple for today's introduction. All I can say is this week's challenge was the toughest so far. I got so frustrated, but we've got a happy end. So I really hope you're gonna continue watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and have fun. The new box from Tomman is here and so is summer. It is so hot right now that I wouldn't mind if this box was filled with ice cubes, but it probably isn't. So I'd say without further ado, let's unbox the box together. Bye. to mention that this box is pretty huge this time. Found the challenge. What is this? This is a their mini. Do you know what the their mini is? Is that just the name of the company? Should we unbox it? Should we read challenge? I don't know what to do. Okay, let's read the challenge first. I'm shaking right now. I'm so excited. <laughs> Here's the challenge. Dear Nicole, thanks for taking us with you to your vocal coaching. It was quite interesting to see how your routine looks like. By the way, your beatboxing skills are impressive. <laughs> Thank you. But now back to business. We've noticed you're learning pretty fast and that you have a great affinity for instruments. But what do you think about an instrument you have to play without touching it? Your new challenge is learn to play the theremin or theremin within seven days and integrate it into a song of your choice. We are curious how sensitive you are to master this challenge with lovely grooves, your Toman team. Thank you so much. Oh my God, now I remember what this is. When I went to Trebno for the very first time, we went through the store and I got to try out a couple of instruments and I was very confused because how that instrument works is you put your hand above it and by moving your hand across the board, it makes sounds. And I don't know if there are people out there who actually are like professional theremin players. I don't even know how you pronounce this instrument. Is it a, I'm just gonna call it a theremin. These are the coolest instructions I've ever seen. Theremin, quick start. More instruction-y bit. That just looks like the future in my hand right here. <laughs> Mount your theremin on a microphone stand or place it on a non-metallic table. Ensure that the theremin is at least four feet away from any large metal object. Place the pitch antenna snugly into the pitch antenna slot. What is the pitch antenna? Have I missed something? Probably. That is not the pitch antenna. <laughs> Press setup, then move at least four feet away. Is this thing about to explode? <laughs> Press setup, then hold hand near pitch antenna. Press setup, then hold hand near volume antenna. like we got different presets on here in orbit that's what I feel like one preset is called strange stuff and to me all of this is strange stuff I don't know if it's the heat in this room or the sound of the theremin, but right now my head is about to explode. I just feel that level of frustration that I normally hit on day 
two or three that is a bad sign <laughs> but i just found a section in the manual for developing your theremin skills and techniques i'm going to take a look at that after i take a little break to get some fresh air and then i'll be back with new motivation hopefully very soon Good morning, good day, my darling friends. I just went to my very first massage to get into the right mindset to learn how to play the theremin. And now I'm so relaxed that I'm actually quite scared <laughs> to start playing that thing again. But I'm also very excited. Oh, I just feel so good right now. Alrighty, my friends. It is pitch black outside, there is a massive thunderstorm going on right now. Today we're going to take a look at the manual. The volume antenna controls the volume level of the theremin. You can use changes in volume to accentuate, play or not play notes. Yeah, I was wondering how that is going to work, but that makes sense. So I can increase the volume, I can decrease the volume and then I can accentuate with your body about 12 inches back and slightly left off center. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. About an arm's length away from the pitch antenna. What? Shut up. Climate change. Opening your fist. Clara Rockmore, widely regarded as the most skillful theremist in history. There we have it. Okay, so we've got a professional. She would start with a loosely closed fist and curling her pinky ring and middle finger outward in small steps while keeping her index finger resting on the thumb. This bit just make me laugh out loud because it says imagine tickling butterflies rather than clutching guitar strings. <laughs> and that's basically what I'm doing all day, every day. It literally doesn't change. You know what I've just realized? That obviously doesn't make any sense at all to play around with my hand like that, but rather do it like this. I feel like Tom might have found an instrument that is going to kill me. <laughs> Ah, uh, what an instrument. Help! Yeah, I do believe that I should have started with watching some videos on how to play theremin because honestly I don't know about you but I've actually never seen anyone play a theremin so I don't know what that's supposed to look like or sound like and I don't believe reading a manual is going to fix that so tomorrow is going to be all about the theremin videos. I'll see you then. Bye! Cheers! Cheers my friends! Seriously? The builders are back! Cheers to the builders! I'm gonna start watching some tutorials now! So I just found that wonderful woman on YouTube. Her name is Carolina Eich and when I see her play the theremin it makes so much sense to me. She looks like a magician doing it. She's just moving the air and creating music while doing it. And, and now I'm starting to understand why someone would ever consider playing this instrument. Yes! I thought I would use my mic stand. However, this thing up here is too big um, for me to put the ceremony on top of it. I'm gonna get creative and build a little something out of something. <laughs> Thankfully, we haven't done the laundry in quite forever, so a laundry basket is nice and full and really sturdy. So there are two things I've learned so far. First of all, you don't really play like this, but you rather play from behind uh, the pitch, pitch antenna. Playing it forward rather than uh, to the side, because that actually hurts a little bit. And then there are eight hand positions that I haven't learned 100% yet, but it's basically that you move 
your hand like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or something like that. That makes you find the notes a lot easier. So I found this great tip for beginners, which is just turning the pitch correction to the max. I'm gonna find the notes for you. It kind of feels like cheating, but then again, it just helps to get started. Turning it to the left, you have this glissando effect. You kind of have this tuner right here and it helps you to find the note. And then you can set the root note, uh, which is automatically going to change the notes for you that you need for the scale. So you can choose different scales right here. Here are some facts about the theremin. The theremin, <laughs> the theremin is actually one of the, <laughs> the oldest electronic music. <laughs> Here are some facts about the theremin. <laughs> The theremin is actually one of the oldest electronic musical instruments and it was invented in 1920 by the physicist Leon Theremin. The theremin occurred just before the stock market crash in 1929, which made the significantly high price tag very unappealing to most American families. That might be one of the reasons why the theremin isn't as popular as other instruments. In the 1950s, the theremin found a new career in Hollywood. It ever since became the go-to source for otherworldly sounds in many classic sci-fi films. Fun fact for you guys today, I'm usually the first to use sun protection. Somehow I forgot sun protection for my shoulders and my arms today, so I look like a little crab. I've decided to put on this bright red t-shirt just to make myself look a little bit less like an absolute idiot. <laughs> today we're going to concentrate on the left hand, uh, which I think is really, really interesting. It just looks very interesting. I'm going to try and play with both hands. I found a tutorial for Somewhere Over the Rainbow yesterday and I practiced it a little bit. Um, I'm going to continue practicing it today. I do believe that the theremony is quite different to the theremin and I'm currently watching a lot of theremin videos. There aren't really that many theremin or theremony videos out there. So I'm just going to work with what I've got here. <laughs> So there are different uh, left hand articulation movements. One of them is like a full arm movement and that's for overall mm. dynamics for a bigger articulation, like a big change in, in volume. If I want to separate notes, it's easier to just use the hand. Ah! <laughs> I'm getting all the drums vibes again. What? No. I don't really need that kind of um, articulation right now because I'm playing with pitch correction. But if I turn the pitch correction down... I'm gonna go back to pitch correction. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. I know it sounds horrible. Then I read this comment under one of Carolina X videos and I couldn't agree more. When 
whenever I get really really frustrated with an instrument I seek for help and this time I really thought I wouldn't be able to find any help but I found a professional theremin player and she's willing to show me a couple of things and I'm currently on my way to her I'm very excited Theremin-Spielerin, ist das richtig? So ist es. Wie kommt man darauf, Theremin zu spielen? Bei mir war das so, ich habe eigentlich erst Saxophon ähm, gelernt mhm. und dann habe ich eines Nachts geträumt, dass ich Theremin spielen werde. Dann haben alle gelacht, als ich den, meinen Traum erzählt mhm. habe und dann habe ich das aber in die Tat umgesetzt. Hammer. Ja. Wie lange spielst du das schon? Ja, ich spiele das jetzt acht Jahre. Die Antenne ist für die Tonhöhe und die ist für die Dynamik. Bei den Rest stellt man sich eigentlich vor. Also eigentlich ist es so ein bisschen wie, wie singen oder wie in der Luft malen. Ich komme von der Gitarre. Ja. Das heißt für mich ist halt das so meine Tonhand und das ja. so meine, meine Dynamik. Ja. Und hier ist es ja genau andersrum. Bei dir ist es, glaube ich, ein bisschen einfach. Ich habe so eine ähm, Pitch Correction da drin. Das ja, heißt, die würde ich aber erstmal irgendwie gar nicht benutzen. Okay. Das ist nicht gut für dein Gehör. Du musst aber die rechte Hand immer auch hier lassen. Diese Antenne. Du musst, hast immer so diese Haltung. Ne? Mhm. Und wenn du zu dir hingehst, wird der Ton tiefer. Das stimmt. <lacht> so schön klang das die ganze Woche noch nicht. Du kannst so eine Faust machen und wenn du deine Hand ausstreckst, musst du eine Oktave haben. Mhm. Aber die Finger zusammen, guck mal. Ah. So wie beim Klavierspielen. Einfach ja. so. Guckst du denn da jetzt hin? Ja, ich guck da hin, weil da ist so ein Tuner. Das will ich irgendwie nicht machen. Okay. Also wenn du jetzt singst, ne? Ja. Guckst du ja auch nicht immer auf den Tuner, nee, oder? das mache ich nicht. Nee, es ist genau das Gleiche. <lacht> wenn du das spielst, spielst du dann eher Melodien oder spielst du auch so Soundteppiche oder? Beides. <lacht> Tuner hast du oder einen, also einen Tuner überhaupt und kannst deine Töne sehen. Mach das mal ohne Ton erstmal. Und nicht bewegen. Stell dich mal so ein bisschen so gerade hin, so breitbeinig. Jedes kleinste Zucken ist ja, ja quasi ein anderer Ton. Wahnsinn. Die Finger ein bisschen mehr zusammen. Du machst die so breit. Du machst so. Ah, okay. Schon besser, ne? Hm. Ja, schön. Ja, super. I'm not only super sweaty, but also really, really happy. That was absolutely amazing. Thank you so much to Gilda for showing me how to play the theremin and showing me how it can sound like. You should definitely go and check her out. She also got a band called About Aphrodite. It will be all linked in the info box below. Very happy right now, very happy. Yesterday was really inspiring and Gilda made me realize that I obviously don't look at a tuner whenever I sing. So why would I look at a tuner when I play the theremin? Or why would I use pitch correction? Being ambitious is great and I think it's really important if you're a musician, but having fun is the top priority. <laughs> Don't look at the tuner. Not every note will be 100% in tune, but it will make a whole lot more fun.
that was quite the experience. I feel like I felt the theremin for the very first time. I'm pretty sure I looked super concentrated, but I had so much fun, honestly. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And I'm so looking forward to part two of this challenge. I don't know which song to do yet, so if you've got any song suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you to Tuan for another insane challenge and experience. Make sure you check out their YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe to mine so you never miss another video. And then I really, really hope to see you in my next video. Bye!